basically black bears uh, in the wild will hibernate uh, between uh, starting around December usually and go all the way to March or April here in southern Quebec. Of course it varies if you go up north depending on how long the winter is. Uh, in the case of the bears that are in our care, in this case Jeannie is a, a, our care here at the zoo, she actually went into hibernation last fall on uh, November 23rd which was quite early uh, compared to what she usually or the black bears in our care have done usually. They've gone usually in, in December but she went in uh, November and she came out last Friday. Uh, so it's been pretty much the average. They tend to come out in the second or third week of March, but throughout the years, over 25 years, we keep record of that. And we've had them come out as early as um, March 7th and as late as April 15th. So again, it's a, it's a reaction to day length, of course, but temperatures, uh, pressure, and they they have their own way of knowing when it's time to uh, to come out. During the um, hibernation here at the Eco Museum Zoo, what we do is uh, the bears, or Jeannie in this case, the one bear that's in our care right now, has an artificial care. So there's there's actually a building that's adjacent to the uh, living spaces where she is. Uh, we've learned through experience that if we try to set it up, set it up for them. So for example, use straw and make it nice. Uh, and cozy for uh, for her. She'll usually try to reorganize everything herself. So now the keepers will go in and they'll provide her with the straw, everything she needs, and she sets it up for herself. And she spends the whole winter, uh, just as they would do in the wild, in a, in a cave or under tree roots or in a, in a sort of an enclosed uh, uh, area that they can find or, or dig out for themselves, basically. And the reverse will happen in the summer, or in the spring, I should say. Uh, the Their living spaces will be prepared, everything set in order. And again, we know roughly when they're gonna come out. And usually they start being active a little bit uh, indoors. They'll start coming out of the den, going back in. And on a given day, uh, they just, it's sort of hard to explain, but they just, they let us know. It's, she'll be almost restless. She'll be signifying that she's ready to go out. And of course, at that time, the door is open and she's back to our, our natural settings out, outside in the living spaces. When she gets there, usually there's a few days. It's been a long time that she's been sleeping for three, four months. Uh, so she'll take a few days to just soak up the sun, uh, lie down, stretch, spend the whole day eating a bit slowly, starting to eat again, and just, I guess, do what we would all do if we had a chance. It's just spend the whole day uh, lying out in the sun.